Hey everyone, Draco Magnus here for another episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2 Mini Games. This will not be the last one like I thought. There's actually a few more. But this is the last Underdrum tournament that we're doing from here, the Goddess of Fate Cup, which the recommended level is 53, and I'm... my battery and my laptop's dying. Anyway, my, uh... which I am way over at the moment, so this should be a walk in the park. Uh, fight alongside your friends, there are no special rules this tournament, which makes it the easiest tournament out of all of them. I don't know what the score specifically is to reach, but it shouldn't be that hard. I'm hoping. See, the thing about this tournament, it's kind of like a, a cluster of all the rules from the other tournaments. Like, each round will have something different, but sometimes it won't have any rules at all. It's a free-for-all. There are no rules, so anything goes. Each battle will have different objectives and surprises. They said it a lot better than I did. Get a high score by collecting or use combos for more orbs. And we're all decked out with our ultimate weapons, so... Also, I think you can hit those... Torches? Wow. Ow. Okay, you know what? That's it. You brought this on yourselves! Ow. Damn it. Got it. Quit it! Got him! That was a real pain. I thought I, since I was so overleveled it would be easy, but I guess it's not going to be that easy. That was, though. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, because I may have lost all those orbs. Anyway. Ooh, Root Ravager! Hooray for all of the points! What round is this? I've lost track already. And then again, I wasn't actually paying attention. Ah, oh, four. Oh, God, no. There we go. I'm probably going to have to do this again off screen to get the point value because I'm not doing too hot on points. Um, you guys take care of the shamans. I'm going to break some torches, or they're going to prevent me from doing what I was trying to do. Ooh, assassins. Ow, that hurt. Ow. Thanks, Donald. Ow. Oh, God, no. Destroyers die first. Thank you. Come on. Got it. Ooh. Oh. Ow. If you're trying to get points here, which I kind of am... Since there's no time limit to this, I would recommend trying to get as many of the torches as you physically can before fighting the enemies. That way you get a higher score, you get a higher score, you don't have to do this again. I forget what the high score you have to get is, we'll be checking that later. And then there's these gems, where it's in time limit, speaking of which. There we go. I hate the in-time-limit special ones. <sighs> Defeat the enemies before all points are gone. Oh, fun. Ow. Yeah, magic is your best bet to go with when you're in the point ones because it'll beat them faster. 
speaking of which. There we go. Ah! Party must survive until time runs out. Easy, considering where we are, and this is a great place to get a lot of points, considering the enemies we're dealing with. The rapid thrusters, as you know, are excellent for grinding. And even though they have a small level yield, since we're just killing as many as we can in the amount of time, this is an excellent point to get a lot of medals. Oop. Also, there's still torches, so use them too, to your advantage. 1,262, not bad, but where are we? Oh, fun. And it's the hot rods, too. Oh, right, no magic. Yeah, that's the best way to beat hot rods. Magic as soon as they do that. There we go. And Hades. Oh, this is the finale, isn't it? You don't bother with the enemies, they don't drop any medals, so it's pointless. And Hades never enters a state of complete immunity, so... Actually, now that I think about it, Wisdom Form is probably your best bet with him, considering his weak he has a weakness of ice. So, excuse me while I Wisdom Form. Got him! Yeah, it is. Not only did I beat you in the story, I beat you here! I think that means I beat him four times! Oh, they're sleeping. Isn't that cute? Let's take our reward. Get out of here! No! We Whoop. did it! Sora said it quite nicely for us. We did it! And you get Fatal Crest! This Keyblade can be instrumental for beating Sephiroth. Increases strength during MP charge and allows unlimited chaining of combos. When equipped, the combo finishing move is disabled. This Keyblade is literally unending combo while you have it equipped, and you can just scrub your way through Sephiroth, making it ridiculously easy. Anyway, and the last Orichalcum Cross is now ours. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check on screen what the high score is and if we got it. I hope we did. I don't want that. I want this. <sighs> Shiz, it's 3,000. I'm going to have to do it again. And now we have the paradox battles, which are a thing. Wait, what else? This is new in here. Oh, and paradox titan. Okay. And now that's there, that's one, two, three, four more things we're going to have to do here, and then we're done with the Underdrome. Great. Anyway, more importantly, where's that Moogle? There's the Moogle. I want to do this on screen. Synthesize. Recipes. Ultima Weapon. I don't need Bright Crystals. There we go. So once again, that's all you need. Those materials right there, that number. I don't need to do this, but I have so many bright crystals, I feel like doing it anyway. Ultima, key, Ultima Weapon! The Keyblade above all others, holding all power, with, will increase MP restoration rate once all MP has been consumed. The Ultima Weapon is actually the second strongest in here, with one being stronger than it physically. Ultima is the strongest magically, however. Actually, no, it's not. Fatal Crest is the strongest magically, but this has the best magical thing on it. And it has the strongest strength and the best magic. Balanced, I guess. Didn't realize this had better magic than it. Hmm. 
Well, anyway, Ultima Keyblade goes on. So now I have Ultima and Final. But with that, I think we'll end this episode of Minigames here. See you guys in the next one.